Thank you for joining me for an upcoming in-person or virtual JABS class. JABS stands for Joint Mobility, Alignment, Balance, and Stability. I've had two car accidents. I played varsity sports in college, and I've been a dancer since I was three years old. Also, I've been playing taiko for the last 17 years. Inevitably, I had injuries or just strains and pains in my body. I've tried physical therapy, I've tried yoga, I've tried stretching, all kinds of things. Doctors would tell me it's time to take a break. It's okay if your body's hurting in this way, you can keep being active, you're not gonna make it worse. What this told me was that in order to make my body the best it could be, I needed to figure out how to do that by myself. That's why I created JABS. So over the years, I collected bits here and there, exercises and stretches that I found made my body feel good. I know my body best. As I created this program, I found that some of the exercises I was doing were great for warm-ups for my Taiko classes. Over time, my Taiko students asked me if I could teach them more of what I had learned. And eventually that pushed me to create JABS as a standalone program. So you're here because you want to give JABS a try. There are many aspects of JABS that are worth noting, but first and foremost, as I know my body best, I want to reiterate that you know your body best. As we isolate different parts of the body, or attempt to at first. Jabs will begin to create a new kind of body awareness for you. We will go deep into stretching at times and you are the best judge of how far you should go. You should not feel pain at any time. As your joints start to warm up, consider increasing your range of movement. But if you're happy where you are, then that's where you should be. Okay, let's break down the different parts of jabs. So joint mobility. Joint mobility exercises increase the range of motion of your joints in order to increase your potential overall flexibility. Balance and stability is built into the joint mobility part of jabs. We will stretch and tone small muscle groups, improving balance and stability, adding tools to your toolbox of injury prevention. The last segment of jabs will address alignment. This is a stretching series which considers your feet, hips, and shoulders. We will practice taking full, deep breaths, filling the belly into the lungs and the chest and all the way up into the head while cycling through a range of stretches. This will help to reset your natural alignment. If you are joining me for jabs for the first time, keep in mind that some of the movements can be quite difficult at times. Over time, as you continue to practice them, you will become more comfortable in the movements and really notice their benefits. Okay, let's talk about what you're going to need to get started with jabs. Make sure you have a yoga mat or exercise mat or some other comfortable place on the floor. Next, you will need a towel or a t-shirt or some kind of TheraTube or TheraBand that is at least 110 centimeters long. I like to use this sweat towel. It's long and skinny, easy to grasp with my hands. We will do a couple of exercises using this towel, but for those of you who cannot reach your toes comfortably when sitting on the floor with your legs straight in front of you, I will give you some modifications and you're going to need a tool like this. Make sure you are wearing comfortable clothes that are easy to move in and that you have some water. Okay, that's it. I look forward to seeing you in class.